up to another cube. What do we want to do today? Hmm. What are we looking at? Thorn's a nice beater. Pristine Angel. I remember this card. Time to just take Flooded Strand. Flame Tongue's always pretty good. Nothing's screaming at me, though. Maybe we could try Blue Devotion. Hmm, maybe? This is good even as just a indestructible enchantment. Scry return. Unblockable. Maybe I'll head that route. Yeah, let's start there. Well, there's Click. Vengeant. Unlox. Essence Scatter. Chainers. It's so hard for me to pass up a Johnny Vengeant. I mean, I could take Click. It goes with the Thassa. Try to cement blue. I'm just such a big fan of Vengeant. Every time I see him, I gotta grab him. That's just the way I roll. What do we have here? Chroma's Vengeance, very good with the Planeswalker. Cosmic, high on the curve. Repeal, Snare Visions. I think this is about the only Signet type effect we can find here. I think I'll just take the Vengeance. You can always cycle it when you're ahead. It takes you out of a spot if you're behind. Very good with what we got so far. Doesn't affect either. Yeah, let's take that. So we're trying to shape up a little control deck here. Not a surprise. And where do we go from here? Spell Pierce. City of Brass. No. Maybe Oblivion Stone? I like Obsidad, but I still think it's in our wheelhouse this game. Spell Pierce is fine. I'm going to have to start picking up fixing at some point. How good is Oblivion Stone? I think I can live without it. I think I want the City of Brass. Good fixing. Let's do that. Flooded plane, condemn. Lots of green here. I think I want the flooded plane just in case the the strand doesn't come back to us. Condemn's fine, but there's better. At least I think there is. I know Swords is definitely in here. Path potentially could be as well. Yeah, let's just get our, our fixing out of the way. Ooh, a Mind Stone. That's very nice. Compulsive Research is very good, too. But I like Mind Stone. It's good acceleration. Then you can get rid of it when it's served its purpose. Mall Drifter's pretty good. Dismiss is fine. Cascade Bluffs, pretty good here too. But I think I want Mall Drifter. I think we'll be able to pick up more counter spells later. Yeah, and I'll hope to get a little better piece of fixing. Deck's starting to shape up a bit. I 
That's not an Avenging or Johnny we want. Undermine, don't think I'll be splashing black. Maybe I'll just take Wooded Foothills. I hope to pick up a, a red blue land or red white land. Which your factory's fine. It's pretty good defense, but I don't like trotting it out there, especially when we can't really aff afford to get our lands destroyed. So I'll take the fetch. Alright, not a whole lot of stuff came back from pack one. I guess I take narcolepsy. I think we're good on our high end. There's better six mana drops. Let's just take narcolepsy. Hmm. This goes good for helping us get Thas out for devotion. I think for that reason I'll take it. Let's try that out. Repeal? I'll take Repeal. Ooh, Spell Pierce, not bad. I don't like that card. Let's take the Spell Pierce. Turnabout. I suppose. I don't think I'll play it, but who knows. First lightning, not bad either. Spreading seas. So we have some cycle type effects. Appeal spreading seas. I'm probably gonna hide the turnabout. Not the strongest pack one. We'll see where we go. Well, there's Snapcaster, O-Ring, Arid Mesa. I think I want to play the Snapcaster. O-Ring certainly won't table for us, which is going to be a bit of a tragedy. But we're definitely blue. Yeah, I'm going to take the Snap. Hopefully get... I don't know. I don't think we're going to get much from this back to table. Maybe skull crack that we won't play. Ooh, Metamorph. That's a strong card. So useful. Not a whole lot of red we want. Sneak attack. Not the deck for it. That will get Maloku to table. Uh... Really, it's Fury? No. Trigger Mage? Remand? I think we take Remand. It's not my favorite counter spell. But there's not a whole lot else. I'm we'll just keep slamming blue cards. Shapeshifter? You can do some good stuff. It's pretty good with the Metamorph. Maybe we'll get a land out of this pack. If not, maybe a Willbender. Willbender's, I think, has a good probability of wheeling for us. Hmm. What the hell was that? The speakers are getting... It. Oh, they're pissed. Crackling speakers. Oh, look at that. What a gift. What pick is this? Fourth pick. Tamo's great. Maybe we are get we had a char prophetic bolt. Cloudskate. Even a Kami. It's okay. But yeah, we're we're slamming the Tamio. That's a wonderful card for us. I do want something to fetch off this. This wooded foothills. So we have 
Dungeon Geist, Four Spike, Ascendant. Eh. Heroes okay. We're not really white yet. Dungeon Geist is reasonable. But I think I want some early game counter spells. Just a little something to disrupt. Uh, I, <laughs> I used to hate Force Spike, but I can catch a lot of people with it now. And it feels so good when I do. Oof. I think we gotta take Volcanic Island. As much as I'd like an Amiria and a Tundra, both these lands are so good for us. But it combines with our foothills so nicely. And the pack wasn't super strong outside of the lands. And a steam vents? I think that's what we want here. Looks like we're going to be more blue red than blue white. Certainly have the mana to do just about either now. I forget what I took City Brass over. Was it an Oblivion Stone? I think I'd make that pick again. And what do we have? Yep, there's our skull crack. Not interested in much of any of this. People just hate the voice. I'm really not interested in skull crack. Uh, yeah, I think Slag Storm is actually pretty good for us. We have the the red mana to play it. It's a nice little mini sweeper. I think that's the card for us. So I think we want some more burn spells and probably definitely up our creature count. Or just win cons in general. We got a bit of a good start going. I don't think we can comfortably play Relic Water. Maybe we try out this Fury. I personally never played with the card, but it's mythic. So you have ooh, Willbender came around. That's nice. I like that. And prophetic bolt. All good things. And even this weird guy. And a firestorm. What the hell does firestorm do? Ugh. So blue red. Maybe we just cut white all together. Outside of Vengeant. I guess we can afford to play the Chroma's Vengeant. We can always cycle it. I don't know. This is going to be a very much defining pack three. See so what kind of goodies we get here. Chrome Mox Tidings. Amazing Mortars. Conscripts. Always a fan of that. We got some junk. Maybe we do want Chrome Mox. I do like Conscripts a lot. Wear and Tear would be pretty good. Maybe get that to table. All our cards aren't super amazing. I don't, I don't, I don't like. I don't know. I just, I have my reservations for moxes. Maybe I just want tidings. Outside of Moldrish, we don't have a ton of draw. I think I'll take tidings and hope conscripts or wear and tear come around. Not super excited about it. Or mortars? I don't know. What do we have here? 
Counterspell, Bolt, Incinerate. I think I want a hard Counterspell. One of these cards will probably get around to us. I'm going to take the counter. Hmm. What Chandra is this? There's a mom. Mom's pretty good. Our creatures are incredible. Ancient Tomb? Maybe we play the Chandra. Hmm. Is it a site I'm not too excited about? Ancient Tomb. What's it? Maybe I'll just take the Ancient Tomb. We don't have a lot of life gain currently. I'm going to take the Chandra. She's not that good either, though. Ugh. So far, I'm not super excited the way this pack is it's going for us. Still not excited. I want the Vindicate. It's best card in here. But V two splash colors. Scroll rack. Legacy Salor, what is this? It's not terrible. Adds to my my devotion. Yeah, let's try it out. Let's do that. Trade one rider. Another Chandra. This one's a little cooler. I like capsize. Buyback is really nice on it. I think I want Capsize here. That Repeal can deal with troublesome items. Chandra, it's okay. Yeah, let's take Capsize. Ooh, Aether Lane. There's our win con. Snatching that up. Delver, a Red Blast. Figure is not going to be happening. It's really good against us, but I think our our deck is a uh, pretty Delverish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This descent is not in here. Nine, ten, no, ten, eleven, twelve. Mm, yeah, why not? Let's play Delver. Ooh, negate and a lightning helix. Hmm. I think we have enough counter spells. I think I want the lightning helix. Ooh, that's a that's a big game. This card must be undervalued. Take a permanent. Come on, people. This deck isn't exactly thrilling. I think Desperate really Ravens looks a little better than the Boiler Works. You'll say. I don't want to play double white. Probably won't end up playing the Chandra either. I 
suppose I can live with an epoxide. Just for some land clutter. Engineered explosives. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's a good sideboard card. This card's really slow. How hard do I want to push devotion? Guess it's okay. I'm good with our vengeance. Do we even play this at this point? I'm gonna hide it. Probably hide this Aurelius Fury. Uh, this probably causes us the most trouble. Sure, but we're in ring. Oh, looks like no one's playing Storm. All right, so blue red something. That's a little bit of a white splash. No oh, firestorm. Thank you very much. Lots of spells. Alright. So what do we want to get rid of here? He instantly can cut narcolepsy? Turnabout, narcolepsy, spreading seas. Hmm. I think it's a glorified fog. I don't think it's necessary for us. So we're peeling capsize for permanence. We have some good draw effects. Let's put this guy here. I don't think we need a pocrosite. Hopefully we get to hard cast those. So wizard, wizard, wizard. Shapeshifter. Which could be wizards. The prodigy seems fine. Legacy lures really goes towards our devotion. Devotion is going to be hard to get. But it's not necessary. So let's cut. Uh, Desperate ravings. Don't really feel like the random element is good for us. We have good early game. Lots of good counter spells and burns. We have some light sweeping. I think the devotion might just not be happening. This card seems iffy to me. So, goodbye. And this is essentially just going to be used for scrying every turn for free. And maybe get it in there for some good damage. How good is Chandra in this deck? Not very. 
I think in my experience, Chandra's mostly... Outside of the original, Sandra's, Chandra is a uh, pretty niche. So, Snap's caster has a field day in this deck. Maybe we just cut Thassa. I doubt we're going to have much of board presence. She's really going to have her devotion met. And with all our draw, I don't think we need the scry. And we don't really need the uh, unblockable stuff either. So, goodbye first pick. And now we're magically at 23. We're going to be winning off their awesome stuff. Or Planeswalker Lockdowns or Aetheling. Very much control deck. City Brass. Flooded Plain? Yeah, we'll, we'll play it. Wood Foothills gets us Steam Vents or Volcanic Island. Barbarian Ring. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't hurt. We have Life Gain out of two cards. It's going to be hurting us against aggressive decks. It's another burn spell. Why the hell not? What did you suggest? Is that right? One planes? I think I'll up that to two. Go down here, what does this look like? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of red mana. Should be plenty. One, two, three, four. Not a lot of fetching for planes. Plenty of blue. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, plenty. Alright, so mana looks solid. Deck looks okay. Let's test it out. Let's see if we're on one.